After two years of planning and a controversy that attracted national media attention, businessman Jim Anders' dream of opening up a hot dog stand that employs ex-felons finally came to fruition with a police line cutting ceremony by U.S. Representative Danny Davis. One of the biggest problems that individuals who have criminal backgrounds and criminal records have is trying to find a source of employment. If a person cannot find a job, cannot work, cannot have a chance to take care of themselves, they are unfulfilled and they will never be able to realize the American dream. Hiring ex-offenders is nothing new to Andrews, who started employing them eight years ago at his West Side Paper Company. Happy with the work that they were doing for him, Andrews became an advocate for giving felons a second chance. And then about two and a half to three years ago, I was driving down Harlem Avenue, and I saw a hot dog place called Franksville. And I said to my wife, hey, Mayor, what about Felony Franks? She says, what a great idea. However, Second Ward Alderman Bob Fioretti did not think that Andrew's concept was a good idea. Mr. Andrews came in to see me six months ago and he was telling about a concept that he had. I told him it was a um, good theme to hire uh, ex-offenders, uh, but the name was a poor name and a poor choice, especially in that area. In that beat alone, we've had almost 800 index crimes. We're creating jobs. We're trying to help people. You need to help us. You need to let us have our sign permit. Fioretti denied Felony Franks' sign permit, a decision he says is independent of the name. I mean, he can have a flat sign. He can have anything uh, flush along the, the building that says that. Uh, but the type of sign that he wants over the right-of-way is really going to be prohibited from on Western from Lake to the expressway. Sign or no sign, hundreds of people came out to the grand opening of Felony Franks to get a free hot dog, which Congressman Davis says is a sign of the community's support. It doesn't seem to be offensive to the people who are here right now. If it was offensive to people, I don't think they'd be here just to get a hot dog. I mean, I really don't. Back in the kitchen, it would be hard to tell that many of the workers here are ex-cons. And manager Jerry Tasso says that his job at Felony Frank's is no different than at any other restaurant he's worked at. They seem like decent, genuine people. And, you know, they should give, have, have a chance to uh, at least prove themselves. A chance that Alderman Fioretti says should be free of glorifying their past mistakes. It's really an exploitation of the worker. It, it, it doesn't help the worker. Uh, it, it, they are just using the workers to, to build up a business indirectly. Every item on the menus crime related. I hope his business succeed, succeeds. I don't want to see a, a failed business, and especially because he had the wrong kind of a name, a name that glorified a felony. However, for the ex-offenders who've been given a second chance, none of this controversy seems to matter. Here's a man right here, Jim Andrews, who offered us a second chance at life. You know, I don't want to do a second chance at life in the, in the Illinois Department of Correction. I want to do that second chance right here with somebody who's really trying to help us out.